Hello guys. Disclaimer. I'm about to freaking vent my ass off right now. <laughs> Warning. Uh, anyway, so I'm just leaving my hotel after competing in my first ever and last NPC show. Oh God, here we go. So, third place in the uh, light heavyweights out of, uh, I think it was eight guys. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, I hope somebody has a video of kind of like seeing my reaction <laughs> when I got called third. I kind of feel like a dick. I was kind of, you can tell by my reaction, I'm sitting, I kind of just look stunned and I just kind of, you know, have a straight face, kind of walk forward. It was just one of those like, yeah, okay, you know. It's kind of bad too because I feel like I was kind of uh, forewarned this was going to happen. You know, I saw pictures of like other competitors that, that come in with better condition and, oh, whoops, I got to tighten this up. Hold up. Um, you know, I'd seen on Facebook pictures of people, um, you know, getting shafted in the NPC that come in with better conditioning, losing to more of like a softer, puffier, yeah, he may be a little bit bigger, but still though, it's not like enough a size difference to, for a judge to, to leap the other, the bigger, softer guy over us. Just, that's not bodybuilding. You know what I mean? Like guys that are puffy and have gyno, that should be freaking docked down. Like it's such bullshit that like... Both guys, what's, what's so sad is, and here's the sad thing is, I got to literally pump up backstage next to the two guys that beat me, and it literally was such a night and day difference in conditioning, like it was a joke. Like, I'm sitting there, I knew I, knew I was being compared to like the, the top two, or I knew I was like in the top three after the pre-judging and stuff, and, but it was just like, you know, I almost made it like for fun, I'd sit there and I'd purposely pump up next to the two guys that beat me and sit there and you just, the amount of, de I mean, it was like such a, God, these guys are just so soft and so puffy and to have those guys beat me, oh God, it was just like such a joke. And they're both like guys that, of course, like this is a smaller town. So these are the guys that have done, like one of the guys that has done this show multiple times. I think it's, and I'm not mad at them. Hey, I mean, you know, we're in a subjective sport. I'm just saying though, like, it's just such crap that you're gonna take, I'm literally the only guy in the whole entire show with striated glutes, and I had one judge put me uh, seventh out of eight guys, so pretty much dead last, and another, another judge on my scorecard put me fifth out of eight. Are you freaking kidding me? You know? So yeah, guys, I'm not gonna lie, I woke up with such a, a sour taste in my mouth this morning from this. And it's like, I mean, yeah, it's like, I have to, I, I keep kind of having to think that, hey, it's like, I, you know, I lived my dream two weeks ago. I got my pro card in natural bodybuilding. That, that That's what matters to me. This, this doesn't matter to me, but still though, I still just can't believe, you know, it's like I was warned how corrupt, uh, you know, Mark Lobliner always talks about how corrupt the NPC is. Mark, you were freaking right, man. Oh my gosh, this is, fr Oh, it just sucks though. I just hate like doing a show and like having such a bad, like a bad negative feel. Like it's in my gut, you know what I mean? Like I was, it just, oh my gosh. I still can't believe like how just kind of like pissed off I am from this. Like I said, it's just, I would totally understand that, hey, if I got my ass handed to me, I will accept it like a freaking man and be like, hey, you know what I mean? I was beat. I was severely out muscled. I was out conditioned whatever but it's like what's the great thing the great thing for me is a natural bodybuilder was everybody said this too i didn't even look like size wise i blended right in i didn't look like stringier small like like most people kind of claim natural bodybuilders look they're like no you fit you like you fit it in right up there with the light heavyweights and an npc show against guys that freaking juice so it's like hey i feel like i represented the naturals you know obviously proud and well in that but it's like, when you have the best symmetry in your class and the best conditioning in your class, and you're gonna reward a guy, or reward two guys ahead of you that are freaking softer, and like, yeah, the little bit more thicker, maybe a little bit more muscle, but it's not enough to like, it's not like I said, it's not like they were dwarfing me or making me look small. So NPC judges of Spokane, you can kiss my ass. Yeah, I said it, you know what I mean? Like, it's freaking corrupt. You all can freaking, Oh gosh, like I will never ever, ever 
do that show again. You know what I mean? And it's not like I'm the only person that's obviously, come on, I, I talk to other people and stuff like that. And, you know, of course, I've heard of tons of people saying the same thing about how they got shafted and how Spokane Bodybuilding, they like favor all of these like so-called teams in this town, Team Pitcher, Team Impact, Team, Team, they should call it Team, Team Bro, Team, we freaking um, crash our freaking athletes' metabolisms and then leave them high to dry because we don't know shit about dieting and education. We put them on meal plans and we freaking don't know crap about nutrition because that's why all of our athletes come in soft as shit. Yeah, I said it, Spokane Bodybuilding and all you teams. Yeah, you guys are the freaking, I hear I hear your clients tell me what you put them on. It's a freaking joke. You guys should be like sued for what you do to freaking clients. Oh my, all you are is, most of you guys, most of these coaches are just a bunch of juiced out freaks that freaking, um, that the bikini victims and stuff fall victim to because people refer them to them and they have these freaking juiced out writers putting them on meal plans they probably print it off off of Google and then passing them out to like all these bikini girls here locally and charging them three four hundred bucks crash putting their metabolisms in the gutter and then leaving them high to dry and they don't place well and then the show's done and they're not paying them anymore oh it's such crap at least I was able to save I'm not gonna mention her name but at least she was able to come up and talk to me after the show um, and tell me like what ha what her experience is with one of the main teams in this town, you know, and I'm gonna freaking direct her to either my coach or you know anybody else that I can find that will actually help repair her metabolism and get her back to um, you know getting healthy again. But oh my gosh, like I still just oh man, like you know what's even funny was this was even funny to me too was even guys backstage like you know like big juiced out just those type of guys were even coming up to me and seeing and being like what the fuck they put you in third like I would have figured like okay these guys are gonna favor more of their their enhanced counterparts but when you even have all of them coming up to me and being like dude you got fucking shafted that is bullshit like that's kind of saying something you know so yeah guys overall um, I mean I've, it's funny because I've had some of you like other natural guys kind of say hey like let me know how your experience is with doing an NPC show. Yeah, sorry guys, I'm gonna have to tell you to, uh, like I said, I, I miss, if you don't, I don't want any of you guys having to like, you know, feel great about doing a natural show, and then all of a sudden, you know, go and do an NPC show and have this same, I don't want you guys to experience the same. Like I said, it's almost, it's kind of sucks after being like on such a high, after winning my pro card, and feeling on top of the world, and then having to deal with this shit. Yeah, you know what? Screw that. You know what I mean? Like, I, I honestly now I'm, I'm totally regret doing this show. Um, I hate kind of having to say this, but I'm gonna be honest and say that that was the uh, worst ran show that I've ever done. It was only my fourth show, but still, as far as how the show was ran and the organization um, of kind of how it was put together, like, like for example, for pre for pre judging, oh my gosh, like in natural shows, they freaking they like they put us out there for 15 minutes. They move us around, they compare us. Oh my gosh, they freak, I feel like we were up there for five minutes. They only moved me once, and what sucked was with my number, I was number 53, so I was the last one on the very end, which everybody in the audience said, dude, we couldn't even really see you until they finally moved you a little bit more to the center where the letter, where the lighting was better. And they only put, I feel like once they moved me there to compare with the top three guys, prejudging was over. I'm like, what the heck? Like right when I was starting to like, most of you guys know the more you pose, the harder you get. I feel like I was just starting to kind of like get in my groove and they're like, oh, okay, thank you. Like, that's it. What the heck, NPC? You're gonna freaking not even compare us? What a joke. Um, and then that, and then like the way the, um, like I had no idea like, you know, like in my natural shows, they're so great about kind of like giving everybody kind of a heads up. All right, guys, like, you let you know, like, uh, so-and-so class is on, make sure you're, uh, you know, getting your glaze on and getting pumped up the next class, they, like, like, for natural shows, all right, tall, like, when I'm in tall class, all right, tall guys, just let you know, you know, uh, the short class is up right now, make sure you guys are starting to get pumped up, get everything going, none of that, I had no idea, before pre-judging, I literally had to go, go up to one guy and kind of ask, like, hey, like, what, should I be kind of getting ready, and he's like, 
Or he's like, what are you? I go, light heavyweight. You should already be pumping up. Oh my God. You know, I'm like, what the heck? Thanks for the warning. You know, nobody even said anything. I was sitting there literally, I hadn't even been glossed yet. And I'm sitting there like having a girl uh, gloss me while I'm sitting there trying to put on my, eat my rice cakes with my almond butter and honey and stuff like that. And oh God, you just hate that feeling of feeling rushed. Like you don't get to fully kind of, uh, prepare yourself it was just like oh my gosh like, I couldn't believe it and um, you know oh gosh I'm so I'm so surprised too like at this this was this show was actually at a really nice venue uh, a very very nice hotel at Quest Casino I love Quest Casino but it was like the pump-up room was the size of my bedroom what the heck like even my smaller that don't bring in nearly as much money uh, natural shows have had way bigger pump up areas. Like it was a, you could not believe how tiny the pump up area, it was like, sit so there trying to like do a bicep curl when I go down, I feel like I was gonna hit somebody, some girl in the head and was doing her makeup below me. I mean, it was that cram, that cram packed. Like seriously, what a joke. The NPC with all the money you bring in, you can't even provide a better, like more spacious training room or a pump up room. Oh my gosh, like I couldn't believe it. Anyways. So this is my kind of event on uh, my first, my first and last uh, NPC show, um, Spokane bodybuilding or freaking Spokane. Oh my gosh! Like, oh, uh, like I said, guys, I am done. That was the worst uh, show experience I've ever had. Only natural shows from now. It makes me. This makes me so freaking proud to be a natural bodybuilder and only like do natural shows because oh my gosh. Oh, like I said, night and day difference, guys. Don't ever freaking, if you're a natural guy, don't even mess with the NPC. What a joke. NPC